look out here. It's a beautiful, beautiful winter's day. Warm, I think it's gonna be 18 degrees today. Tide's running in now, I'm not, I'm not sure. And to be honest with you, I don't care. We're gonna go anyway. The smell of tea tree blossom is in the air. And guess what has arrived? Melbourne's favorite fish, the Australian snapper. Today we're off to Western Port with high hopes for catching an early season snapper. Hopes are up, but trousers down with the hopes that song the business flight. I'm fishing with Zach and we're both excited to hear the sounds of our first rod buckling. So guys, I was just getting a couple of taps. There we go. Brett just made a move down and we've got one. Just buckled over. Step back, oh, you're oh. the leader, step back. Yeah, it's gonna go again, I think. Yeah, it wants to run. When he comes, you just step backwards and I'll let him come in. Yep. I'm gonna put him straight in. No, I can't. No, There you go, brother. This is what it's all about. Zachy's worked real hard for that. It's not the monster we want. He'll do. He'll do for now, <laughs> anyway. It's only August. Talk us through, what bait did he take? And what? Squid ring on a pair of 3 O's. So that's why I always use 3 O's. Because I don't see the downside to it. I've never lost a fish. Um, and you get the little fish. What, you use them in uh, season two? In Port Phillip, everything. Right. My biggest fish was on three O's. My biggest is on four O's. All right, good job. Call it. I'm calling it there. I'm calling it good layer, Bob. Ooh, they're my favorite, folks. Here, I'll grab it for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they get rid of the glares. <laughs> he's angry with that. Hammond, huh? So he's been up, he's like a big vacuum cleaner, old mate. He's been up there <laughs> hoovering on the in the shallows, hasn't he? Yeah, well, look. look at him. He's a hoover. He's a hoover. Look at that. Heaps. Heaps. And he still ate our bait. Yeah. Down here at the ramp, gonna clean this lovely snapper. Got the ocean accessories um, scaler, and we're just gonna show you how it's done. Just grab the tail firmly on a wet surface, just get into it really. You can't really be gentle with the scalers. Gotta just, please don't miss any places under the tail. Gotta make sure you're getting all the spots under his gills. I know it's gonna be a good season this year because for the last seven years, we haven't had any good weather in August, none. And this year, it's been steadily warm. Sick to death of them. I know you don't like them, but anyways. Do, do you want me to keep you one if I get one? If you get a bit one, keep one. Yeah. Alright. I, yeah. I should get another one. I've caught about a million. <laughs> yeah. He's unwrapped himself. How are you, mate? That was on the. Uh... Look, you wrapped up there. I was on the arrowhead squid. Beautiful squid ring. Favourite bait, that's my favourite bait. So I'm gonna put this rod out that corner. I'm gonna put it long. What I've experienced in shallow water, the snapper will just take it everywhere. They'll just run all around. So I'll just try and stagger the baits um, for that reason. Right out there. 
Beautiful. Set the drag. Long John out there. So I'll leave the squid guts on. I'll leave the squid guts on for Nev and Dom. Just for you boys, because I'm not a fan of it that much. Works, I know it works, but don't know how it presents. Turn the motor this way, that way. The boat will yaw against the wind a little bit. It'll just help to bring it around. Now, all we do is wait. We'll be doing a bit of waiting this month because it's early season. Hopefully this isn't it. I don't mind seeing an eagle ray today. I haven't seen one for a while. Normally when you start catching the old eagles, the old snappers are not far behind. Like coming into bays and stuff. A little bit of a workout this morning on the eagles. Mr. Eagle. Maybe it's not an eagle. Maybe it's a big gilla. As he's coming back, he's playing the game. He's sitting on the bottom. He's inexperienced. There we go. 14 of these suckers in the last 24 hours. A couple were decent. Do you hear that, boys? That's why I love this place. Just absolute silence. You can't hear cars, you can't hear boats, you can't hear nothing. It's just... Well, you can hear my phone getting a message. One thing I notice every year is when the snapper come in the bay, they're always really lean, like they haven't had much food. So... I know it's good to have bait, good bait quality, but you can't always get time to go out and catch bait. And uh, I reckon they're pretty hungry. I reckon it's like a jungle out there for them. And as long as it's not rotten, I reckon you're half a chance. It's not, I don't like recommend going out and using shit bait, but don't let the bait turn you off. They're not, if they're up here feeding, just having, a, you know, that's why so many people catch them on servo baits because they've probably had a hard winter's grind wherever they've come from, they're out in the oceans, or whatever, and the fish are always lean. I mean, I've caught lots of big fish early season, but they never crack the 20 because the fish is, it's a lean fish, and if I caught that same fish um, at the end of the season, that would be easy 20 pound. But it's, that's just my thinking out loud. Like it's obviously good to have quality baits, but don't let quality baits stop you from not going fishing. It's a f***ing ripper. Woo! Oh mate, oh, I'm shaking, I am shaking, I'm absolutely shaking. Hundred per- Monster, it's a snapper. Oh,
Oh my god. What have we just done? I'm shaking boys. I'm fucking so happy. Mate, this, this thing this thing could be 20 pound, I'm not even shitting you. Oh my god! What do I do? I don't let the go. I'm gonna hold it up. This is dead set. This is dead set at 20 pounder. We're fucking close. It is really close. I'm so happy. So fucking happy. We're gonna let this go. We're gonna let him go for you boys to catch. I don't eat, I'm not a huge fish eater, but we're gonna let it go live on Facebook right now. And we're gonna fire up half of Melbourne. You! See you, brother. Did you see that shit? Oh, she's just a girl.